Welcome to the online lecture on toxoids. Under the immunological products, other than the vaccines and antitoxins, we are having an important formulation that is about the toxoids. In this lecture, we will discuss about what are toxoids and what are the different formulations and how can we prepare the different toxoids and their functions. Everything we will discuss one by one. Toxoids. What are toxoids? Toxoids are the toxins whose toxicity has been removed. We know that toxins means these are the poisonous substances. Okay. When we are removing the poisonous substances from the toxins, that means where we can remove the toxicity, those are known as the toxoids. And we can define the toxoids as these are the preparations of toxins which are detoxified Okay, how can we? In the first point, we discussed that we are removing the toxicity from the toxins. Okay, how can we remove the toxicity? The toxicity can be removed or we are making them as a detoxified by the use of moderate heat and chemical treatments such as formalin so that their antigenic property is retained. Okay, we are making the toxins into the detoxified manner. Okay, it can be detoxified by using either the physical methods or about the chemical methods. Under the physical methods, we are using the heat or under the chemical methods, we can, we can use the chemical known as the formalin. Okay, by any of these methods, we can detoxify the toxin, but we have to retain and we are retaining the antigenic property so that it can act as a toxoid. Okay, examples of the toxoids are tetanus toxoid, diphtheria toxoid and the staphylococcus toxoid. See, this is the toxin where we can go for either the physical or the chemical modification. We are making them into the toxide by removing the toxicity. Okay, a bacterial, few bacterial diseases are not caused by the bacterium, but by a bacterial toxin. We always think that the diseases are caused by the microorganisms like the bacteria. Okay, we have an idea that everybody is having an idea that the bacteria or whatever may be the organism, it is causing the disease. But always not the micro, microbe is not causing the disease. Sometimes the toxins, okay, the toxins which are released from the um, microorganisms like the, that is about the exotoxins or about the endotoxins, they can also cause the diseases. Examples, the where the toxins they cause the diseases are about the, for example, the best example is about the tetanus. Tetanus is caused by the well-known organism that is about the Clostridium tetany, which is a bacterium. Okay, this bacterium, it releases the neuro neurotoxin. Okay, neurotoxin, because of this neurotoxin, it, cause, it, it causes the, this is known as the tetanus. That whatever the neurotoxin released from the Clostridium tetany is known as the tetanospasmin. Okay, tetanospasmin is a neurotoxin released by the Clostridium tetany, which causes the disease known as the tetanus. And the immunization can be made. Then how can you prepare the vaccine? Or about how can you prepare the immunizing agents against these, to against these toxins which are produced by the different microorganisms like the bacteria, the Clostridium tetany, for example, I have given. Okay, the immunization can be made by inactivating the toxin. If you inactivate the toxin, we can prepare the toxoid that causes the disease. Childhood immunization schedule include the tetanus and the diphtheria immunization in a combined form. Okay, we are giving this immunization, immunizing agent. In the childhood only we are giving against the uh, tetanus or about the diphtheria in the form of a vaccine known as the DPT vaccine. And we are gi giving not as an individually, we are giving in a combined form of diphtheria, pertussis and the tetanus to avoid the three types of disease. Okay, that is regarding the immunization, regarding the uh, tetanus by the combined vaccine that is known as the DPT vaccine. Okay, then coming into the in detail uh, about the different types of preparations of the official preparations of the toxoids are about the first one is about the formal toxoid. Okay, how can you prepare the formal toxide means it is prepared by adding 0.5% of formaldehyde into toxin. Okay, we are, we are adding the 0.5% of formaldehyde to the toxin and it is incubated. Okay, just we are taking, okay, okay we are taking uh, into the kind of container or about the whatever the glassware is we are taking about the toxin. To that we have added the formaldehyde. We have taken the formaldehyde in toxin, only the two components and we are incubated at 37 degrees in, uh, Celsius for three to four weeks. That is for nearly for one, uh, one month we have go for incubation. 
for many years this product was used in an unpurified form it was an excellent antigen but it is often causes certain severe reactions okay then this is regarding the formal toxoid just it consisting of only the toxin plus formaldehyde going for the incubation coming to the second official preparation of the toxoid that is about the toxoid anti toxin flocculs that is about taf it is prepared by the diphtheria anti toxin to the formal toxoid and the flocculs or the precipitate does obtain or suspended in the normal saline solution okay whatever the toxoid that was prepared that the formal toxoid which was prepared we are taking the formal toxoid and to this formal toxoid we are suspending the formal toxoid in the normal saline so solution it has a weaker antigenic properties but it is free from harmful allergic reactions whatever the allergic reactions or about severe reactions can be seen with the formal toxoid they can be having the limitation with that of the taf that is about the toxoid anti toxin flocculs due to this reason it is useful for the sensitive persons okay as it is not causing any allergic reactions therefore it can be given to the sensitive persons this is regarding the second type of official preparation of toxoid coming to the third one that is about the alum precipitated toxoid scheme commonly known as apt it is prepared by treating formaldehyde toxoid okay for reminding all their toxoid preparations we are taking the basic one is about the formal toxoid okay to the formal toxoid we have adding an adequate quantity of potash alum okay we are adding the potash alum to the formal toxoid which precipitates the diphtheria toxoid okay to the toxoid to the formal toxoid we are adding the potash alum the precipitates are separated washed and suspended in the normal saline solution okay after adding the potash alum and uh, kept it as for some time uh, then whatever the precipitate is formed that was separated washed and suspended in the normal saline solution okay this is regarding the preparation of the alum precipitated toxoid coming to the fourth one that is known as the purified toxoid aluminum phosphate ptap okay purified our uh, toxoid aluminum phosphate and it is prepared by the semi synthetic medium in the preparation of the toxin here we are using the semi synthetic medium it is prepared by using different purification techniques okay name itself is explaining it is a purified form okay purification techniques which involving the use of magnesium hydroxide we are adding to the uh, uh, to, to the uh, toxoid aluminum phosphate we are going for the purification under the purification methods we are using the magnesium hydroxide to precipitate the color of phosphate ammonium sulfate cadmium chloride and some other proteins okay these are regarding the four types of official preparations of the toxoids the, the regarding the toxoid that is about the formal toxoid toxoid anti toxin flocculs and the next one is about the alum precipitated toxoid next the fourth one is about the purified toxoid aluminum phosphate okay these are the four types of official preparations of the toxins then we are going about the in detail preparations of the two important toxoids that is about the diphtheria toxoid and the tetanus toxoid under this lecture out of these two first we will go with the diphtheria toxoid okay under the diphtheria toxoid it can be prepared the diphtheria toxoid can be prepared which is a modified form of the exotoxin of the we know that diphtheria is caused by the organism known as the corynebacterium diphtheriae okay therefore we are taking the organism and whatever the toxin uh, toxin which is produced from the corynebacterium diphtheriae which that is about the exotoxin okay what is meant by the exotoxin okay toxins are of two types that is about the exotoxin and endotoxin okay from the cell if the toxin which was produced and released out of the cell then we can call it as the exotoxin okay if the toxin which was produced and present within the cell itself then we can call it as the endotoxin okay whatever the diphtheria or the corynebacterium diphtheria which causes is is an exotoxin okay exotoxin of the corynebacterium diphtheria and coming to the diphtheria toxoid preparation the preparation involves the suitable strain of the we are taking the organism the strain of the whatever the suitable strain that was taken of the corynebacterium diphtheriae and this organism is grown on a liquid medium at 37 degrees celsius for 7 to 10 days okay and the liquid medium we are incubating the organism okay for 7 to 10 days suppose if the whatever the toxin 
preparation or the concentration we required if it is not reaching we will continue the incubation okay or and, and uh, until the required con toxin concentration is obtained okay that means we are increasing if not satisfied with the concentration of toxin produced we are increasing the incubation time of the uh, diphtheria of the organism corinibacterium diphtheria after maximum toxin production okay if the whatever the um, toxin produced was satisfied uh, this is a maximum production was given by the organism then the bulk of the organisms are separated on a paper pulp okay that means separation is taking place and the filter and, and the filtrate is sterilized using okay and we are going for whatever the filtrate that was separated that filtrate is sterilized by using the fibrous pads or about the ceramic candles and whatever the after the filtration then whatever the filtrate we obtain that is one about the crude toxin okay that is about the crude toxin we have obtained and it is antigenic but it is highly toxic in nature and has an equal number of antigenic properties as that of the parent toxin okay after this whatever the toxin we prepare uh, we got the crude toxin then we will go with the as we are having the different four formulations official formulations we can prepare the the toxoid preparation by any of the forms of either the formal toxoid toxoid antitoxin flocules or alum precipitated toxoid or about the purified toxoid aluminum phosphate and coming to the next type of uh, preparation next important preparation that is about the tetanus toxoid tetanus toxoid this is prepared from the exotoxin of clostridium tetany this is also and similar to that of the diphtheria it is also an exotoxin which was produced from the organism known as the clostridium tetany the specific toxicity of which has been completely removed by the action of chemical substances in such a way that it can retain its antigenic properties okay we are doing the the preparation of toxide without affecting its antigenic property okay after the preparing of the same the similar to that of the diphtheria toxide as the organism is only the different they the the coronibacterium diphtheria and here is about the clostridium tetany after uh, preparing the crude toxin then we are going with the preparations of the official preparations uh, into the toxin into the toxide by using any of the forms of the uh, forms okay of which we are taking about the formal toxide is prepared by treating with the uh, sterile culture filtrate of clostridium tetany with the formaldehyde or we can go with the alum precipitated toxide is prepared by adding alum to the tetanus toxide in a simple solution in the proportion which is necessary to produce a suitable preparation of the tetanus toxide okay we can grow for the under the tetanus toxide we mostly are using for the we are going for the preparation of the toxide as a formal toxide and another one is about the alum precipitated toxide okay this is regarding the uh, preparations of the what are the toxide we discussed we discussed about the toxide and the official preparations of the toxides and the two important toxide with the preparations of the diphtheria and then the tetanus toxide and whatever the toxic which was prepared is separated washed and suspended in the normal saline solution